So, uniqueness. Um, you might see something like that. It identifies a unique thing. It's a shower <coughs> digest in hexadecimal, something in particular. Um, it's actually a git commit. Um, <laughs> it's, actually, it's actually this particular commit, which is the first commit in the Perl git repository backdated to when Larry first released Perl. Now, you may have heard that git is content addressable, and what that actually means is if you've got that ID, you can get back to that ID with that ID, which sounds like a bit of a chicken and egg problem, but um, <laughs> it's actually very useful. It means that when you, um, it includes the type of the object, so when you ask it for a particular thing, it tells you this is the object, and it's there in a content addressable file system. So you can actually generate the hash yourself, like so, um, the key bit being this line here. So the, when you see a git hash, what that actually is, is the SHA-1 checksum of the string commit, the length of the object, which in this case is the text of commit and a few other bits and bits which I'll get to, a null byte, and then the content itself, which gives you this long string, which is the same as I showed earlier. Now, going back to that particular commit, notice it includes this tree hash here, which means that you've actually got a recursive structure showing down to the individual file, which is also checksummed, what the um, commit refers to. So what I'm basically saying in a very roundabout way is a particular idea of a commit gives you a pretty damn sure idea that it is the same thing, and they are very unique. So, um, shortened URLs are quite popular for some reason, for some popular I am thing. Um, they hide a lot of information. What does that idea on the end actually mean? No idea. So, we're going to take advantage of the uniqueness that Git gives you, and make a URL shortener that is specific to Git commits. <laughs> so, something a bit like that would give you the content of that particular commit, which means actually you can stop referring to a git commit ID and a project, you can just say that, followed by that, and um, that <laughs> sort of thing. <laughs> you can find all the records you can find, um, I'll select people out them, but I'll get to that when I haven't finished it yet. Um, so, and then you just redirect to the web you like. So, if this is going to work, uh, so, uh, uh, okay, but anyway, so if I now just go and type some random thing, internet slow, let's try something slightly different. Right, there you go. So, <laughs> you've gone there, that's really not readable, but anyway, you shorten that. Um, you have to excuse my really bad UI here, I haven't quite finished that, but if I then go to that particular commit, it then redirects me back to the Perl um, Git repository, and I uh, get to that commit. Now, um, oops, anyway. Where should I put PowerPoint? Ah, okay. Um, anyway, that's the idea. I haven't actually quite finished this, because I was following the uh, conference-driven development methodology, which meant that was the last year on Thursday. And, um, <laughs> it isn't quite finished, but I hope to actually have this finished at some point, but this, um, a few issues. So, partial ID. So, you might notice that the actual URL I went to is a bit shorter than the whole commit, which means I need to sort of have a nice structure of the whole thing sorted and pull out the right commit and do that in a vaguely performant way when you've got a few million, possibly billion, it may not quite that many, but a lot of commit IDs. So, <coughs> that's a bit of a challenge which I haven't quite fully solved yet, but I want to solve that. Um, so yeah, partial IDs, um, updating it. I basically, have oh, a, yeah. I basically have created a web crawler for <laughs> Git repositories, which means I need to basically do all the fun things that web crawlers have to do, except it's in <coughs> Git, and don't really have to do that yet. So it sort of works, but not quite. Um, so yeah, technology, Git. Um, entire level DB, DB is what I'm actually using for the commit ID, because it lets you pull out a range. So you say, I've got a particular um, ID here, give me the range from here, so you say from 000 to FFFF, and it gives you all the IDs in between. Um, and read this and clap. Um, that's basically it. Um, and yeah, confidence driven nice. development is definitely the best methodology, but make sure you've actually sort of planned the timing so you actually do finish something. But, Hopefully, within a few days, I might have it mostly finished and can. Oh, 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 oh. Oh.